In Creative Drawings Embroidery software, you can either group or combine. Let's see the difference. Let's start with three different objects that look completely different. Then, we're simply going to move and place the objects in a grouping that we like, something that brings them a little bit closer together. Once we have these objects in the proximity of where we want them with regards to one another, what we now want to do is move all three objects, keeping their relative spaces to the upper left part of the hoop. This is done easily with group. Left click on one of the objects, then hold the control key down and click on any of the other objects you want to move together. Then go ahead and right click and group. Once you have them grouped, they work as one object. So you can see you can move it anywhere in the uh, hoop or in your work area. The good thing about doing this, instead of just selecting all of them, is if I click off and do something else or bring in some letters, when I come back and click on it again, they are still grouped together. So it makes it very easy to, uh, to move this as one object or one grouping. One of the other things you do want to realize is if you go ahead and you click on one of the fill areas, let's say I'm just click in the fill areas, all of the fill areas are brought together. So you'll see all of them come up. So now if I choose a different sort of, let's say, style, that will be included in all of the fill areas throughout that object, that grouped object. So Basically, if you want to now change a fill area after you've moved this, you want to go ahead and do a right click, ungroup, and now each object is its own entity. So again, grouping, it does bring it together. It keeps most of the attributes the same, but then if you change while it is a group, you certainly will have um, a change in your fill or your satin or that sort of thing. So um, grouping is really great for moving and keeping the objects this basically their own entity so they do not change to, to be similar to the other one. Now with combining, that's a little bit different. Right now we do have three separate objects. Notice when I choose them, they are three separate pieces. With combine, you want to do a similar thing. You're going to click on the first object you want to combine, hold the control key, select the second object, and then while holding the control key, select the third or the last object. When It's important that you know what order or what object you choose last, because now when I do a right click and I click combine, all of the objects now have the attributes of the last object I chose. So that's very important. So if I go ahead and do a quick little undo, and this time I choose the circle first, and then hold down the control key and choose the, the star, and then choose the rectangle, right click and combine, you're going to see that again, the, all of the objects now have the, la the attributes of the last thing that I combined, or the last thing that I chose. So that's really important you realize that if you're combining, you're actually taking away the individual attributes, and they will become the attributes of the last object chosen when you were choosing the objects to combine. So again, that's really important you realize that. The other thing that's important is if any of the objects were overlapping, so like the circle and the rectangle were overlapping, the shape that was above will become a hole in the shape below. So basically our circle was on top of our rectangle, so now you'll see that there's a hole there on the shape below or in the rectangle. If the objects were not overlapping like the star, you're going to see that there's a little jump stitch between the two. So that's the difference. If you're overlapping, you're going to get a hole. 
Now where this really works well is on something like what I've done on this next page. You'll notice I have a little star and a circle. And I actually want to cut out a hole in that circle. Well, I can do that with combine. Now remember, the attributes still take on, or the, the leftover object, the object that's been cut out of, basically, it will take on the attributes of the last thing you choose. So check this out. I'm going to click on the circle first, hold down the control key, click on the star. When I do a combine, because I chose the star last, look what happened. The attributes of what was left was basically the attributes of the star, the last thing that I chose. So if I wanted to actually keep the, the purple color, what I would do is I would choose the star first, choose the circle last, do a right click and combine, and now I have the circle being purple because it was the last thing that I chose. So combine and group are really very, both very uh, useful tools and it's really important that you do know the difference. So hopefully this little exercise helped you find out the difference between group and combine.